Um, my question is about um, genetic um, manipulation. Yeah, it was, but I was <laughs> I dropped that one. Yeah. Imperfections and um, things like that are yep. they held in the soul, or are they held, or are they just expressed in the physical body? The the genetic uh, imperfections, if we can call them that, which are in the physical body, are a result of something that's in the soul and the way in which the soul's energy was flowing. And many of them come from the time in gestation, from the time of conception to the time of birth. What's happening in that area of time, if you, if you knew how much effect as parents you were having on your children during that phase, most of you would either stop having children or until you fix the problem, um, you'd probably choose to do that, stop having children until you fix the problem. But, but the reality is what happens is remember, even the sperm and the egg, because they come from imperfect parents who have imperfect soul conditions and have imperfect spirit bodies and have imperfect physical bodies, those, the sperm and the egg themselves, which consist of two, sub, two elements, one is a spiritual element and the other is a physical element, <laughs> when they combine, you, you get the effect of the imperfections in, genetic imperfections in those two elements combining along with the emotional impact that the new soul now has to experience from the parents that it's now associated with combining, which, which as you can imagine, is quite severe yeah. in comparison to God's condition of love. And as a result of that combination, <coughs> the sin of the parent is now visited on the child. So taking that to the next stage, can the child, in this case, um, uh, because there's that what they call what genetic dispositions and things like that. So it, can me? they, in their human body, yes, um, correct that? Of course, but it requires correction at the soul level. So you can't actually physically correct the body without correcting the soul. If you attempt to physically correct the body, so for example, let's say you start getting lines around your face and your eyes and everything, so you go to have a tuck, right? <laughs> and you pull out, and they stretch out your skin, and you look young again. The reality is the soul still has the condition that's creating that problem and so the soul is still going to create old age no matter what you do about it and unless you deal with the cause of the reason why it's doing that in the end your physical body is going to die anyway and it will probably die just as fast as it was always going to die does that make sense yeah thanks. yeah so so this is where you've got to get away from trying to change everything at the physical level because you are not a physical being so you've got to stop this whole process of trying to change everything at the physical level and start addressing the soul-based issues that create problems. Yeah. So I'm not saying that uh, you might not try to extend your life because and, and by changing a physical thing. What I'm suggesting is every physical thing that causes you a problem, if it's not addressed at the soul level, at the end, in the end it's not addressed. So it's going to continue to have the same effect. Yeah. A good sign is when you start um, when you start waking up in the morning and you notice that you look younger, not permanently, but just in the morning. That's a good sign that your soul condition is now starting to exceed your physical condition. Does that make sense? During the course of the day, it may return back to it's, but every morning you wake up and you're looking a bit younger. That's an indication that that there is some improvement in your soul condition, uh, particularly if, if you're aged you, and you can see the improvement when you get up in the morning, then you notice that, well, there must be some soul condition improvement. I've just got to keep working on it for it to be permanent. Yeah. Remember, physical body changes take up to seven years to, to be reflected from your soul. So, you know, you might fix something today and you might only see the results seven years' time. Uh, in your physical form. Mm. Of course that's different once you hit a one minute with God, then you're perfect. Every, everything happens instantly after then, so 